with the chili, it's on a bread of rice, and I have the optional onions and cheese on it. We'll see how it tastes. Gonna hit the spot right there, that'll be good. I'll see if I eat dinner tonight. If you saw my Grand Canyon video of a few days ago, you I ate lunch at the El Tovar Lodge. I had to go back and read my notes here. El Tovar Lodge up in the Grand Canyon. And I had probably the best bowl of chili I have ever eaten. Well, with a little bit of research, I found the recipe. So we're going to see if I can duplicate this. Come watch. All right, we're going to go through the ingredient list. And it says I'm supposed to have one and a half fillets mignon. I have some tenderloin. There's two of them there. Then I've got one pound of pork loin that's been diced. Uh, over here I've got one white onion. It calls for one jalapeno pepper, but I had some hotter Anaheims in the freezer, so I'm going to use those. It wants one tablespoon. It says fresh garlic, but we're going to use the pre-diced stuff. Here's the interesting thing I didn't know was in this. It says three 12 ounce bottles or cans of beer. And in the aromatics here, I've got three tablespoons chili powder, one tablespoon paprika, one tablespoon ground cumin. Then I will add one tablespoon of Tabasco sauce. Then it wants one half cup of tomatoes diced. I had some frozen tomatoes from a prior growing season wants eight ounces of tomato sauce, and then salt and pepper to taste. So the first thing we're gonna do is saute the meat, the onions, and the jalapeno. And we're gonna be using my new Cuisinart, like eight in one pan. It also has an inset to steam or poach variety of foods. Uh, lid, a little spatula that came with it. So let's get the meat in here. onion and pepper. And this is supposed to saute for five minutes, but we'll see. Here, I will try to saute with one hand as I do this. There we go, we've now gone through five ish minutes. So let's put the rest of the stuff in. So I got the garlic and the Tabasco, and with the tomatoes, we'll pour that in. Here's my spices. Add the tomato sauce. And last but not least, the beer. Stir it up. Yeah, the pan is just big enough. Okay, 
things in there. It says salt and pepper to taste. We'll add a little bit of my blend seasoning in just a second. Okay, that's what I'm going to put in a little bit of. There we go, we will stir that up. This should thicken up when it's had a chance to settle. Okay, when this comes back up to a boil, turn it down. It says two to three hours, so we'll come back then. All right, we're about two hours in. See, it's cooked down quite a bit because here liquid was up to this level here before. And it feels like it's thickening up quite a bit, so we got about another hour. It's looking good. The dogs want it, want it but the dogs aren't going to get it. Stir that up. It's looking really good. It's cooking down really nice. And we will come back shortly. Okay, we're at three hours. I think it's ready. We're going to pour it in a bowl and give it a taste test. See if I got it. Alright, here we go. Ball, spoon. This looks good. Looks close. Mm. Yep, I got it. I'm impressed I did it. Not quite as much heat, but that's okay. I can always add something to it, but this is good. I captured. Oh, be quiet out back. I'll let you know in a moment. the heat. I'm not testing. All right, this was great. I will look at tagging the uh, directions into the uh, description box. Thanks for watching. Thank you for subscribing. The subscribers have picked up. I'm getting likes. And remember, I'm also doing YouTube shorts on a daily basis or near daily basis. So you can follow those also. Thank you, everybody. We'll see you next time.